Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Alan. This is Cast of Life. I've been on a little bit of a break here recently, but I'm back now and looking forward to making some new videos uh, leading into the fall and beyond. And I'm glad to have you here with me. I got out here today and I took a look at what the weather was going to do. And it looks like there's some rain that's going to happen a little bit later today. And prior to that, there's going to be some clouds that are going to roll in and give us some nice cloud cover. So today's video is going to be about baits that I would throw uh, when the weather gets cloudy and, uh, and we have dark skies. Okay, so that's exactly what we're going to do. I'll just dive right into it. So the very first thing I'm going to have tied on when the cloud cover rolls in, it's going to be a buzz bait. This little thing right here, nice clacky buzz bait. I'm going to be throwing that around, especially here in the late summer. Uh, as I look around me right now, I'm sitting here in the, in the cove that I'm going to start in, and there are bait fish everywhere. Young of the year bait fish. Uh, these things are an inch and a half to two inches long at the biggest. Uh, some of them are smaller than that. Some of them may be a little bit bigger, but, but not much. And so see them busting the surface every once in a while since I've been sitting here. I have seen fish come up uh, chasing them. And so the very first thing I'm going to have on is this nice buzz bait right here uh, moving bait i'm going to cover a lot of water i could i should be able to get all the way around this whole area that i'm fishing uh, in the amount of time that i have today and uh, the buzz bait is going to be first the next thing i'm going to have tied on today with with cloudy conditions uh, is going to be a fluke this is the zoom fluke uh, I've got it just a basic Texas rig. I'm going to do a video covering uh, how I rig some of these things. Uh, the fluke is going to be one of them, but I'm going to give you a quick preview of that. Uh, one of the main things to remember about a fluke is that it has to be rigged perfectly straight in order to work like it's supposed to. And the second thing to remember about a fluke is you need the eye of the hook exposed at the head of the bait. That's all I'm going to reveal about it right now but I'm gonna do a whole video on fluke fishing because it's one of my favorite ways to catch fish. I've caught them in a lot of different areas and a lot of different lakes and a lot of different parts of this country on a fluke. And I just think it's a fantastic way to catch bass. And so I'm gonna do a video on that, but I will have that tied on today with all the bait fish around and the cloud cover coming in. Uh, it'd be a good time for me to throw a fluke. Okay, moving on. The next thing that I'm gonna have tied on in this situation is going to be a Texas rig. And I can cover a lot of water with a Texas rig. I can cover a lot of different types of structure and cover. Uh, this cove that I'm in right now has docks, it has laydowns, it has uh, it has rocks, it has some riprap, it has a bridge right behind me down here with all kinds of things. This little, it's probably a 30 acre, maybe a little bit bigger, 50 acre area. Uh, of water that's got every kind of structure and cover in it that you can think of to fish. So one of the things I'm going to have is definitely going to be a Texas rig. In this case, uh, it is a creature bait. This is the uh, Guggen Baits Bandito Bug. Uh, and you'll notice with the cloud cover rolling in, I've got this kind of dark blue. Um, if it were going to be sunny, uh, I would have more of a green pumpkin on. Uh, but everybody and, and their brother and their mother and their, and their godparents and everybody is throwing a green pumpkin something or other, right? So in this case with the clouds, I'm going to be switching it up and not doing the green pumpkin. I'm going to go with this blue, electric blue flake. Uh, I think it's called an Okeechobee crawl actually is that color. But Texas rig, worm, creature bait, um, you know any of those types of things that you want to you want to throw around that i'm definitely going to have that tied on the only change from it that i'm going to make from what i would normally throw is going to be a color situation in uh in the low light conditions i'm going dark uh, and the reason for that is because fish uh when the when the cloud cover rolls in fish get a little bit further away from the cover that they're on the, the sunlight penetrates deeper when the sun is out than it does of course when it's cloudy and so the fish will come up in the water column and they'll also disperse out in the water columns so you'll have fish kind of roaming around out in the you know in areas that they normally would not be in if the sun was just beating down on it, it makes them a little bit more difficult you got to cover a little bit more water because they're you know they're liable to be anywhere in between on any little piece of structure or cover that you see uh, so that low light condition is going to make them uh, not stack up as much on on top of each other like they will when the sun's out shining bright and they'll stack up underneath a dock or something for an honorable mention, uh, one thing I'm always going to have tied on uh, is going to be a wacky rig, Senko style bait, uh, just like this. This is the Yamamoto. Uh, this is in some kind of clown looking color. It's a, 
it's a green pumpkin, but it's got uh, it's got purple and green uh, flakes in it. Uh, but I love this one. This particular one is uh, is awesome. Uh, we got a motorcycle up here. So that's going to about do it for the three top three baits I would throw, and then one honorable mention. Appreciate you guys watching. Please tune in and like and subscribe if you like the content. I love having you here. I love to talk about fishing. We'll talk to you soon. I appreciate you. Thanks.